Hello, my name is Conor O'Toole. I'm here with a fire and a record player. When I was younger, I used to read a lot of books. I don't mean to brag, but I read the entire Mr. Men series. I never read any of the Little Miss books, though, because as a child, I was a massive sexist. I feel really bad about that, and I think I've gone in almost the opposite direction now. I think that if those books were to come out nowadays, I'd be the one writing letters being like, Dear Mr. Hargreaves, Gender is not as binary an issue as you seem to imagine. How do you think a member of the trans community would feel about your oeuvre? Unfortunately for me, and for him, Roger Hargreaves has been dead for over 25 years, and so I've taken it upon myself to correct this error, and I've written my own Mr. Men book with a non-gendered main character. Mr. Patient got out of bed. They walked to the bathroom and brushed their teeth. Mr. Noisy and Mr. Grumpy appeared at the window. Hello there! I can't help but notice your house is halfway between where all the Mr. Men live and all the Little Miss live. Are you okay? <laughs> yes, I, I'm fine, said Mr. Patient. I just don't consider myself male or female. How odd, said Mr. Grumpy. Surely you must be one or the other. Not really, said Mr. Patient. I mean, the only reason we use genders is because society tells us to. I mean, you consider yourself a man, but actually, you're just a blue square. But he's got a hat on, said Mr. Noisy. He's just being contrary, Mr. Noisy. Is he allowed to call you a he, or should he say she, or he, she, or it, or something? Um, actually, I prefer if you just said they, like you do when you're talking to a group of people, but in the singular. That sounds weird, said Mr. Grumpy. I don't like how that sounds. Well, you got used to saying quinoa, didn't you? They've got a point there, Mr. Grumpy. Remember he used to say quinoa all the time? Yeah, yeah, I know, sighed Mr. Grumpy. Well, it's delicious, isn't it? It sure is. Actually, I've got some quinoa in the oven if you'd like some, said Mr. Patient. Oh, well, I guess I could use some non-gender specific pronouns if I was going to get some free quinoa out of it. I'm sorry I was so insensitive, Mr. Patient. Oh, that's all right, uh, but it's mixed or patient, although some people prefer mix, mux, or misc. And then they all ate quinoa and used gender-neutral terminology because it was 2014. The end. Oh, come see my show in the Dublin Fringe.